dude, I'm always shocked. Like, I don't know why. I'm always shocked when all of a sudden you are now alive. Ah, okay. <laughs> How you guys doing? Happy Monday. So how was your weekend? Because <clears throat> my weekend was awesome. And now Monday is gray and overcast, which I think is kind of beautiful in a way. In a way, it's peaceful. Especially like after you have had a great weekend. And I hope you have. Um, if you've had a really great weekend, then, then Monday kind of gray is actually awesome because, <laughs> um, I mean, you want a clear, sunny weekend, right? And then you go back to where you're going to be in work anyway. So fuck it, you know, like why not just, <laughs> why not just have it be kind of overcast outside? It's kind of peaceful. I love it. So I hope you had a beautiful weekend. This is your daily tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries. I'm Michelle. If you're looking for zodiac specific messages, you've got a ton of them over on Born Without Boundaries Tarot and Born Without Boundaries Vimeo. I do a new message every single week. I hope that you're checking your sun, your moon, and your rising sign. If you're finding me on Astrology Motivation, um, what's up? Thank you for joining. Um, uh, if, you, if you're w watching this on Astrology Motivation, this is your daily tarot card reading. If you'd like to join me live, please find my Instagram channel, born underscore without underscore boundaries, and you can actually go into the live chat with me. Um, but these daily messages resonate, um, and I, I hope you're enjoying them wherever you're finding them. Please don't forget, if you're finding them on YouTube, to like, share, and subscribe to this video, help the channel grow, and also check out Born Without Boundaries Tarot for your weekly astrology uh, messages. So, uh, yeah, that's right, Scorpio, Sagittarius, and Libra, you are on deck to come out tomorrow. Uh, thanks, John. What's up? Good morning. Good morning, guys. Uh, ooh, God. Um, you're on deck to come out tomorrow. Um, yeah, that's pretty much the only announcements I have, guys. Um, Monday. Today is the... No, no, no. Hold on. <laughs> that was last week. Shut up. How did I skip that? German rhubarb meringue cake. What? Check that out in case you guys want to, like, go all kitchen witch on me. Take a screenshot of that. This is from Llewellyn's Witches Date Book 2021 version. Hello. Aw, thank you with love. That looks really good. I mean, come on. One stick melted butter. You already got me. You had me at hello. What's up, Lou? You had me at hello with the one stick melted butter. Let's, let's not play around, okay? What is today? Today is the 7th, right? Right? <laughs> oh, zinc defends against light-based magic. That's interesting. Zinc defends against light-based magic. So that's not... I mean, I was just going to say that's not good, but I guess if you're like trying to do healing and stuff, zinc will kind of block that. So watch that. Watch that shit. I'm reading Saturdays because we don't get to check in over the weekend with each other. Um, <clears throat> the moon is in Taurus right now. Today is Monday the 7th. It is a day of planting, so do work. Really, This is a really good time of planting. So to start projects, projects that you're, or to learn more, let's put it, let's put it this way, to learn more about the subject matter of the projects you're thinking of starting, this is a really good time. Um, yeah, really good time. Well, Mercury is in retrograde to start taking the sort of like pre preliminary strategizing steps for projects that are going to be long term. Um, yeah, so let's do this, man. Let's do it. Color of the day is ivory. We'll get into the tarot card reading. It's pretty basic. Moon is in Taurus. It's so interesting how every time the moon is in Taurus, I feel good. I just feel good. I just feel happy and like my world is 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 good it's relieved it's lighter i'm always pot i'm like i'm always optimistic is a better word <clears throat> the moon is at its um exalted position here hold on big big event solar eclipse is coming up on thursday at 6 53 a.m that's standard time that means that over in the west coast we'll probably miss it because we don't even have sunrise over here at 3.53 a.m. 
So to, to see the solar eclipse, the sun has to be risen and it's not going to be over here. Um, but out on the East Coast, you guys might be able to catch it. Um, this marks the day of the new moon. The new moon, hold up. The new moon also takes place at 6.53 a.m. Um, it's a new moon in Gemini. Interesting. At the end of Gemini, heading into Cancer. But it's a still, it's a new moon in Gemini um, with a solar eclipse. I'll get, I'll get more information for y'all um, tomorrow. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do some research on that. Um, yeah, so we'll have a lot to talk about that tomorrow. But that's really interesting because solar eclipse is different than lunar eclipse, right? Um, solar, what is the sun rule? The sun rules the way that you feel about yourself, the way that you understand your purpose in life. So this could very well be a time when we receive really huge messages that make us stop and pause to understand, like, like almost like, in other words, it could be, it could feel like very confusing is what I'm saying in terms of our light path or our life path or um, almost like for just a second, the, the lights go out and we get a little bit lost or we lose our way. Really interesting how in some ways that can illuminate your inner light when the light from the outside goes out. And that I think might really happen because remember the, um, the North node is also in Gemini. This is happening in Gemini. Um, so what does Ge Gemini represent? Our ability to listen to each other, ability to understand each other, thinking about individuality and in, like each other's individuality, learning about it, respecting it, understanding life through the perspective of the individual details. I, I just think that this could offer us a time for sort of review of what we already know because what we need to know might be really confusing. Check out the weekly astrology forecast because this was a really big one. Um, a lot of exes, a lot of relationship, um, a lot of relationship, I would say issues coming back up, not necessarily issues um, in your current relationship, but in other words, issues that you've had with relationships in general, with, with, with how you feel comfortable in them or what the dynamics of them are or how much you feel you deserve them or different things you've tolerated. All of those things are coming back up, especially in the beginning of this week and toward the end of the week is when things really get cleared up. And I think it has a lot to do with that eclipse. There's some sort of illumination that's coming from it. Ironically, at a time when the light goes out, but that's what I'm telling you. <clears throat> when the light goes out outside, that's when we find the light inside. Anyway, let me leave it at that before I'm gonna get more information on that for you, and then uh, let's get into the cards. Um, today is a very good day. Um, as Esther Hicks would say, today is a very good day. Um, let's get into it. We start off... <laughs> <clears throat> top of the deck the queen of cups so the queen of cups isn't she's not a doormat she's a queen but she's just has so much strength and understanding of 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 what it is to give and to care for and how that can impact other people's lives think of a mother Teresa kind of figurehead think of a uh, Princess Diana kind of figurehead, what they represented and stood for. I'm not talking about all the personal crap underneath. I'm talking about what they ended up becoming symbols for. That would be Queen of Cups energy. Caring, giving, strengthening the world by using your heart and healing. That's kind of what she is the archetype for. So <clears throat> let's go. La. I know. La. La 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 la. Do you remember that? It was like when my son was seven. It was that weird little troll guy that would. La 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 la. Dude, I could never get a song out of my head, and I always thought it was ridiculously funny. Just my thing. Here we go. Amen. So this is public recognition. It could also be fame, but usually it's just finally being recognized for your accomplishments and what you can do. And that's where we begin this day. 
Um, but then we also have the priestess in reverse, which means imbalance and a lack of faith. So we may be putting a little bit too much, we may be putting a little too much importance on people recognizing us and, and not enough on basically our, 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 our message and, and our, not, yes, our connection to spirit, but our, our message, our purpose, right? It's one thing to do something for other people. It's another thing to do it for other people so that they'll notice you and you'll get the attention that you need. That's really not with it, right? Like that's kind of what I'm talking about. Now with this, this isn't about philanthropy. This is about just, you know, your work, your hard work, which is what the Six of Wands is about. It's like victory, success, being heralded for what you did, but at the cost of your spiritual rest, your spiritual peace. So that's something to be, it's not even that you're doing anything wrong, except mentally you're kind of taking yourself away from what's really important. So that's something to be aware of, okay? Y'all know that, you know the spirit, this, you know this, the, that this message changes as we go. So let's just go step by step. Aha! We have value, valuation, we have money coming in, we have opportunity coming in, money as if, you know, money as just if it's just given to you, or um, happiness, abundance, stability, and love. Let me tell you something, man, motherfucker. You have two aces, bam, bam, right in a row. I wish I could celebrate, but what the fuck is this? What the fuck is this? Like, it's almost like in some ways you don't feel spiritually balanced. You feel... There's this good stuff coming in and it's all upright, right? There's all this upright. So I don't mean to say it's even necessarily you're betraying your soul. I just feel like there's something still that you feel isn't right or is disconnected. There is good stuff going on. Now, what I tell you, I think as I, like from the beginning of Mercury retrograde, I, I picked up on this feeling, what's the matter? My puppy's barking at nothing. I'd love you. You need me to close the door? I love you. Anyway, she hears noises outside and she starts to bark at him. It's weird. Uh, I'm, it's weird that I'm looking at the wrong place. I'm supposed to be looking at that little green dot and I just can never remember it. Um, I know. I don't understand. What I'm saying is we were going to feel wonky. We were going to feel weird. We were going to feel like something is off. Um, and that's because it is because it's new because we're walking into a realm that we really, a new life. And I, and I just released yesterday's, uh, t this morning's astrology motivation. And it was all about healing after quarantine. And even though that's realistic and what a lot of us are experiencing right now, it's also metaphoric in taking those first steps into the light after you've been through a really dark period and you're weak, you're atrophied. Think of, I've said this to you a thousand times, think of Bambi, the first scene of Bambi when Bambi's born and he got those, he got those long legs and he just can't stand, he's trying so hard to not collapse. That's kind of what it is. It's literally like we just went through the birth canal and we are plopped out brand new. So it's beautiful what's happening. But at the same time, 3D, there's complications. There's, but I have to figure out how to get my new legs to stand. And that's kind of what we are, like blinking out, blinking out of the dark, you know, like, uh, you know, we've just, it's like, it's like we've just coming out of hibernation, right? We've just, we've just been trying to be safe for so long. We're just coming out of hibernation now. And I mean, ultimately, it's, it's like your eyes are stinging because the sun's in them for the first time, um, which ironically could mean this eclipse could give us just a, it, this eclipse could give us a little bit, like bring us back into the shadow for a second, maybe just to catch our breath because it's not going to last long, but it could also be representative of the shadow trying to take back over for a second. It won't last long. We will fight through this, just FYI. Um, but it's, it's challenging because it's just at a point where we're just starting to get our legs on. We're just starting to like, we're just starting to like see the light again. And there is a lot of light to be seen. And this is sincere because this energy is coming up. Oh, thank you, man. You're, you're awesome. Um, thank you for being here for it, Mr. Uh, Mr. Um, Mamad. There you go. Um, there is wonderful things coming in. Love, finances, money, all those things. 
and, and it's not like, yeah, money as in you worked for it. Hard work. It's not like, I don't think it's free money because the six of wands represents sort of like a homecoming, like a celebration. But there's this sense of something being off. And we've got to like, we, I got to get into this. Let me continue. I keep seeing this motherfucker. It's the devil. He's important on our journey because he will try to block you and um, pretend like there, there are no options. But it's not really the devil card. This is actually the strength card. This is the strength card. This is facing your fears. This is looking at your fears. And that's kind of what this eclipse is about, is being able to objectively, from a place of light, be able to look back and now honestly assess the fears that you came out with that maybe you weren't aware of at first. This is clarification, messages coming through, finally information, being finally being able to make up our mind um, about something, being able to see clearly. Really interesting how this is the two and it's in reverse. And then this is the two and it's in reverse and they sit right underneath each other. Um, but but two, of, two of swords means clarification. It means... Um, it means getting answers. It, it means finally being able to make up your mind. Look at how beautiful this is. This is our central energy. And a lot of this is re trauma recovery. This central energy as eight of, eight of wands is beautiful because on this side of the card, it speaks of finally realizing that our trauma isn't real. And it's not that we're not still struggling with it, but it's finally realizing that we have the ability to do something about our isolation and our pain. And with the realization, even maybe we want to. Because this side of the card shows that, dude, first of all, those ropes ain't even that tight. Second of all, this sword that's kind of making her feel for her life is actually her key to independence. Because that sword is perfectly positioned to cut right through those fucking ropes and liberate her. And this eagle, of course, is a message from spirit. And she has her blindfold on, right? Over here. But you don't have to see spirit. You can hear him. He's like swooping in and giving a call. Like there's, in other words, there's inspiration to come out of your sadness. It's inspiration to confront your, your, your trauma, your sadness, what's been keeping you from connecting. And then we have, bam, inspiration. And another hawk is in the sky. There's a lot of messages from spirit that are coming in right now. Beautiful energy being illuminated by the sun, getting to work. You have eagle and hawk. Let's just get, whoa. And in terms of animal totems, this is like the message is going to be so direct, you're not going to be, you, you're not going to be able to mistake it. You know that sometimes spirit messages come in and you're like, what? I just, I'm going to need you to run me that by me again. I do that with my cards all the time, but this is like, oh no, 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 you ain't going to, you ain't going to need to run that by, <laughs> you're not going to need to run that shit by me again. It, we're going to know it's going to be very, very clear when you hear this, when you know this, when you understand it and look at our response, getting right out there, getting right out there and, and hope having faith again, almost like coming out of our sadness and our disconnection and being able to connect to the wonderfulness around us finally that we can get back up on our horse and find our faith again so this is almost like us making the offering like being able to come out and and we're like in other words instead of knight of cups and offer coming to us we're the ones making the offer this is the giving aspect, be, to be giving, to open up again. What? Word up. Okay, seven of, oh, being able to open up again after we felt defeated, after we feel like we have been not listened to, like we've been a failure, being able to open up in a circumstance in our lives where we felt like we were failures. This is that all-consuming, um, like getting back our vitality and not caring what other people think of us, but being able to connect with our passions, which are connect with our heart, connect with our God space so intensely. In other words, after this fucking solar eclipse, 
we're going to be so conscious, conscious of and connected to our heart space. It's going to be, it's going to be like divine illumination. Um, to the point where we're not looking about who's looking at us. We're only looking at what we're going to create. That's where our focus is. Um, just so confident in our purpose and maybe even our direction that, you know, l let them stare, let them not stare. It doesn't matter. And that's kind of where we're disconnected. Remember how I said in the beginning, there's a sense of too, too much focus on what the public has to say is disconnecting us from our spiritual purpose. Ah, so this is an eclipse, right? You see it. This is a lunar eclipse, or is it? No, I think this is a solar eclipse, to be honest with you, or a new moon. So this is like, oh, damn, diggity, damn. It's almost like the dark moon coming out to offer us illumination, also offer us maybe a little temptation. Um, the moon is uh, the hidden things, the hidden things that we haven't wanted to face coming out, maybe even a little deceptively. Ah, okay. Be aware, be wary of this. Be, be wary of the unhealthy giving the unhealthy giving, which is sort of martyrdom and why you do it. Because it's a bunch of bullshit that you're doing it for the sake of others. You're doing it because of your afraid and your own fears. And that this is kind of the time when we get fed that reality, that, that it, it's been a bunch of bullshit. We're just too scared to step out there and do it by ourselves. And then check this the fuck out. Starting over. So it also may, it may be saying we might be a little too quick to jump off a cliff right now, uh, at least today, because we're so eager to um, get into it, that, but we don't really understand all of it. So this is really a day to watch out for more information. And if we, our answers are, our questions are unanswered, Give it over to spirit and ask for answers. And um, um, don't leap at shadows, right? Don't, don't do it. Um, this is, I think, a new start. Being able to walk away from what did not satisfy us or what hasn't been satisfying us. Or like I said, doing things for other people just because you were too afraid to sort of do for yourself. Um, on, on the bottom of the deck is, is the strength card now upright, looking at your fears, facing your fears. Now, being also able to see your fears clearly, not just your fears, but those inconsistencies of character, what, what, you, what decisions you may have made, and for what reasons. Like, why did not, like, I think I say this on the weekly astrology forecast. To not just ask, to not just understand, to understand what you did. You have to keep asking why until you get down to the source. It's like, okay, well, why did I hook up with my ex? Uh, because I was lonely. Okay, why was I lonely? Um, because I, um, um, because I have a hard time connecting. Okay, why do I have a hard time connecting? Um, and as soon as you get to the point where you can't answer the, you can't answer the question quickly, that's when you know you need spirit's help to illuminate those aspects of yourself that you're hiding from yourself because it hurts so bad. And you may actually also need outside help, but this is, is the attempt to understand those parts of ourselves that are foggy inside of ourselves that we that we can't understand we like i can't i can't I, I don't know why i have a problem connecting well now we need help we need help figuring that out but that's also a step up right because now we've gotten to the point where we can't move on by ourselves we have to move on with somebody else's help and that's finding somebody that you trust 
Um, but you should always trust spirit. You should always trust God. Always trust unconditional love, being surrounded by unconditional love, and asking unconditional love to illuminate those answers so that we can heal. Because healing is that 1111. Healing is that area of grayness, of a scary, a fear, of, of shaky legs, right? It's, all, it's almost like being reborn is a healing process from your old life. And so the first part of your new life is always about healing from your old life. And a lot of us go through those kind of karmic cycles where that's kind of like our childhood is healing or adapt, not adapting to, is healing from or incorporating stuff we already know from like our south node experience. As we move to our north node, we almost just begin to live this life that we have right now. And remember, the north node is in Gemini. So this is, I, I feel like this, this, this eclipse coming up, I don't mean to keep making it about Thursday. Let's keep making it about today. We're starting to feel the pull and the energy of the gray area, of the, the it's not even scary. It's like, but I, I don't know. I don't, I've never even been here before. We take steps slowly. We take steps carefully, but we also take steps boldly. We can't, we can't wimp out because of our fears. This could also be just saying, go slow, go slow as you approach, because you know, she ain't to be trusted. Like as you approach these the self deceptive things, you need to go slow and be pedantic about these steps that you're taking um, toward because she's almost like the gatekeeper um, for your new start, for hope, what you're chasing. You don't want to you don't want to go through the wrong portal, right? You don't want to go through the wrong gate. Um, let's get into the. Um, the um, oracle cards. I know I like to cross my legs, but then I have to have both feet on the ground as I shuffle. Okay. That's interesting. I has I love you, angels. Okay. Um, first of all, a personal issue reaches resolution. This is a full moon in cancer. So uh, family karma or just personal issues, per issues could be even be personal to you and your heart space. Kisses, kisses. I have my front door open and that's the problem. She's seeing everybody on the outside. Come here. Anyway, I'm sorry for the distraction. A personal issue reaches resolution. So this is deep down inside, but check check out what's here. Oh my God, it's so, it's so much I'm having trouble. Don't let your past hold you back. We just talked about this. We just talked about where you come from and your south node energy and what you know from what you've experienced um, kind of like being resolved, finishing up any kind of actual family karma or the fourth house is the house you're born into and the house that helps you develop and build your, your original self. And then we kind of move on to toward the 10th house, which is the opposite from the fourth house, what you're going to make of this life, right? So basically what you're doing is now that you know who you are, what are you going to make of it? Moving away. Don't let your past hold you back from some, some, from some shit in the past that has fucked you up, right? This is, but, but you have to know it and see it before you can change it, right? So this is the illumination of it. This is us being able to actually pinpoint what is holding us back, right? That's kind of what it is because we have a lot of beautiful stuff happening around us. And it's like, okay, what is actually holding us back? Balance spirituality and practicality. Bam. And that's what this is because we have Pisces, Pisces. I love this. It's like sometimes they, they can't get the messages through to me. So I'm like, okay, we got to tell this bitch in a different way. Okay. And that's exactly what they're doing. So we have the moon card. And then we also have the knight of pentacles. We have to take the spiritual and what we understand now and be able to do something with it. Practically apply what we've learned. 
And that happens toward the end of the day, right? Where we're finally being able to sit on something, this realization that is a gift because it's telling us what we didn't understand. It's helping us solve what we didn't understand, right? It's, it's oh, now we get it. Now what do we do with it? Now we can go and aspire and move on to and, and make progress. Okay, <clears throat> that's fantastic energy. Balanced spirituality and practicality is really all about, so, you know, what do I know now spiritually about this imbalance and how do I then manifest it into the 3D? And that could be a part of our issue that we, we don't know how. You know what I'm saying? And that's what we're working on. We also could decide to just move forward in faith in that our questions will be answered on the path. Nature. Getting back to nature. So this is a key. This is a clue. Nature will inspire you. The natural world. Connecting with the natural world. Because the natural world is a pure demonstration of God's brilliance. So it's, it's, it's the best way to connect to your, to start to understand and answer those questions that are keeping you from spirit. Start with the tangible. But this is the tangible. This is, the natural world is the spiritual world made tangible so it's a way for us to connect so connecting directly to the natural world is helping us to sort of get a leg hold into the spiritual world so that's nature and then we have art art creativity right creating creating from our natural place creating from our nature creating through nature or being inspired inspired by nature to create the next steps of creation also finally being able to see something you see faces in things right finally being able to see familiarities where you did not or relate to things maybe that you hadn't related to before okay okay this is an interesting journey today man this is an interesting daily well, yeah we need help we definitely need tangible help, actual help. The swans, from people who've made it through, from people who get it, from people who care, this could also be parental energy. This could also be metaphor for being tied to or tied up by your past. But I think this is, usually this card just means ask for help and help will be given. Help is going to be given to you to help unwind you and kind of disconnect you from this crazy kerfuffle that you've kind of gotten yourself into. Unraveling the craziness, the, the shit. To help you understand what it is you really want. To help you understand your desires. Come on in. Unravel the shit to help you see what it is that's really important to you. As well as everything that's holding you back. Because maybe we don't know it yet. Maybe we don't know. Maybe we don't know what we don't know. Right? Just had an aha moment. Woo! Amen, Lawrence. Amen. I love those moments. Oh, more. we're going to like get your pen and paper. You have got to have that with you all day because you're going to be jotting things down. Um, spontaneous and intuitive creation. So this is a day for like inspiration and ideas coming to you that bam, they're like, they, they're like coming at it, at it. They're like coming at you and you don't even know where, but they're going to be exceptional ideas. But it's like this block, this block has to be removed first. Exceptional ideas. Just have your pencil and paper, pen and paper with you or something that you can record your ideas on today because that's what today is big for is is um creativity okay hold up cheer up cheer up live in the moment and i just posted this um i just posted this today uh to cheer up one of the like be in the here and now be in this moment there's so much beauty in what you have right now, don't lose sight of it. Letting go. <sighs> Finally being able to exhale, maybe say something that you needed to say, hear something that you needed to hear, 
release the past. Celebration. Yes, absolutely. Something to celebrate. Actually, almost like clearing space so that we can celebrate. You know, it's all, it's like, it's kind of like that. It's like, we can, we can celebrate now, right? We, we can actually be happier again because we've, we've kind of like decluttered ourselves and, and, and got some sort of release. This could also be celebrations, like actual celebrations, participating in somebody, like participating in happy moments, right? And then we have resilience, rise above tribulations. Moving on, moving on. See how she's just like, okay, I'm, I'm over this shit. Peace the fuck out. So we may not be completely ready, but we should start participating because participation, it's not about an award, but participation is part of the process is getting ourselves back into the quote unquote swing of things, not high speed, but allowing ourselves to get back into the swing of things. It'll actually, it's, it's part of your healing process. It'll actually start to help you. Take the steps that you're ready for, right? Nobody's putting you in point shoes the first day of ballet, but you're there and you're taking those first steps. That's the point. I am light. And didn't I tell you, finding the internal illumination in you, how you are a star and how you naturally illuminate. How even when the lights are dark or the day is gray, there's light inside of you. You are the conduit and being able to find that light and share it and show it. Um, I am treasured realizing your self-worth and your importance and that you will actually, especially today, be treasured for giving people hope just by your example, like just through your example to illuminate, even though I'm afraid, I'm going to show up to try that kind of energy. And then we are, I feel desired. How beautiful is that? I feel desired. And isn't that our kind of like instant reward of you will be able to feel the gratitude from other people. You will be able to feel um, a certain level of acceptance. But that's not why you're doing it. You're doing this to heal. But you'll be able, in other words, this is like almost immediate, immediate rewards where you'll be able to feel, wow, I have impacted other people positively too. Um, to encourage you really to just keep healing yourself. That's kind of what this is really for. Okay. Happy, happy. Higher power. It's almost like now you're reconnecting. You're on the other side. You're able to reconnect to God. By finding the God in you, you can connect to the higher source. Happy, happy where we end up, the key, the key to our happiness, the key to allowing, we're ending up happy, higher power, happy through connection to the higher power and the tribe, as well as people who appreciate and respect you, who also inspire you because you appreciate and respect them. So it's connecting through the higher power by reconnecting to people again. We need each other. We need to reconnect. Yeah, okay. Ruby is here. Oh, I just, it's like everything is in perfect sync. We have Ruby, bless your heart. Reach out for the emotional and spiritual support to heal and mend your heart. <sighs> Healthy communication in relationships. Heart-to-heart -heart discussions and clear, assertive communication help you understand and be understood. We're reconnecting and communicating today. Communications are helping us to heal our hearts. Not even just saying what we need to say, but within communications, you could start hearing. Like, like Lawrence just said, I had an aha moment. 
and, and we weren't even having a direct conversation. It's, it's like you'll be in the midst of conversations today and start to get answers to the questions that were in that gray area for you. It's like something's, you're like, oh my God, it's, it, it, something will break through. God is using the natural world and your community to help you understand those aspects that need healing. That's what's happening right now. That's what's happening. It's that, it's that conduit between the spiritual reconnecting through the tangible. We have to step out into the tangible. That's, that's the necessity. Let's move on to the angel messages, guys. Uh, hi, I'm so happy to get, I'm so happy you caught me to live too. So a couple of cards have come out. Surrender. There is no point in pushing the barrow up such a steep hill. Go back to the start. Surrender your expectations. There is an easier way. When the time is right, a new path will appear. And sometimes the easier way is people coming along and being like, can I help you with that? <laughs> Trust. All will work out well. We, your angels, are here to nurture, protect, and heal you. Trust in the healing power of our love. We love you more than you will ever know. Courage. You have what it takes. Just do it. We, your angels, are here to support you. Heart song. What is your heart saying? Stop and listen. Your truth lies within the empty spaces between your thoughts. Your truth shines through from within your soul. Your truth is that which is eternal and unchanging. Your truth is love. Compassion. When you show greater compassion towards yourself, the universe automatically responds by showering you with greater blessings. I love you guys. And I'm so grateful that you chose to spend some time with me this morning. Uh, happy Monday. Happy week. We have a beautiful week ahead of us. Um, keep yourself open to hearing and listening and understanding and ask the questions that you need to ask from unconditional love and it will illuminate what you need to understand. It will illuminate things for you. Um, I will definitely be back on here tomorrow, probably around the same time. Uh, I love you. Stay healthy, stay well, and stay illuminated. Um, it is going to be a great week. I agree. I agree with you. I agree. Um, beautiful, beautiful stuff happening in the midst of our internal chaos. I love you guys and I'll talk to you tomorrow.